So I'm on the uh, passenger side, front passenger side. I'm removing this part out. You got seven millimeter right there, or a Phillips. A Phillips will work. Or seven millimeter. Pop this out, the glove compartment out, and take this one out. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can use a Phillips or a seven millimeter. So once you get that out, you're gonna pull this out a little bit because there's a clip right there. Someone broke that already. Kind of pull it out slowly. Buy it online for about 15, 20 bucks. Or the cheap version. The good one, you'll be looking at around 80, 90 bucks. What I got. So what I got right now, I got this two screw. Uh, I'm gonna pull it out a little bit, like so. And then uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cheat. I'm not gonna take everything out. I'm gonna remove this. Uh, the uh, Philip right here. There's three. One of three on the radio. One on the right side and the other two. So you gotta be careful though by doing that. Uh, the best way to do it <coughs> is the longer Philip bits. You can kind of cheat it like this a little bit, but I can't do that. I'm gonna have to cheat. Uh, so anyway, let me see what I need to be doing. About like that. So I'm gonna pull it out a little bit, but it's easier to take the whole thing out. But I'm trying to cheat, show you how to cheat way to do it, so you don't take forever. Um, move that out. So let's just let it drop. Another one on the top. Now it's all out. Use your hand and grab the Phillips. So now you're like a quarter way through. One out. Another one in. So I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna. Another easy way to do it is pull this so you can literally put this on the, uh, put the key in there. Right there. So now I'll be able to pull it out in an angle to the right angle. Oh, I can't have music in here. So now I'm going to take the camera. Now you got two plugs and a jack. So what you want to do, you want to hold a th your thumb right there, push this in, and then hold, use the other hand and hold the radio and pull it straight out. The same as the other one, and the same as antenna, just pull it straight out. Now everything is out. The wire about an inches, and then I wrap the wire like so, and then I'm going to pluck it in on the top like this. The wire got to be on the top. That way if something happens, it will pop the fuse. Pluck it in. Push it in, I meant not plug it in, and then plug. Now you will need this red wire from the radio so that way you connect it with the uh, uh, the wire that I ran earlier from the uh, cigarette lighter. So I'm going to use the <coughs> crimp cap right there, uh, butt connector. I get confused with butt connector and crimp cap all the time, I guess crimp cap because it's got a cap and then butt connector it's got two sides so it's confusing sometimes but I know what it is so now I can so for the uh, don't worry about this price price can be a little bit cheaper but uh, for the mom and kid you want it 95 2001 now for uh, I took it out from the back there's gonna be a couple screw that you'll need usually uh, they give you the screw that came with it like this I'm gonna break this two clip out so remove this part the beauty ring from the old one, a lot of radio doesn't come with like that, but this one does. So you have to remove that out. And this one you'll see VDXR. It means it's the right side. So you want to plug on the right side. Now it's go one way. If it's uh, if it doesn't fit, that means it's not the right way. It's got the long long side and the short side. You see, if you install it, you know what exactly what I'm talking about. But the part is the right side. You want to flip it. My way, this way. And you want to put the right side, which is the single side. This is a double side. And put the screw, start using a Phillips. And look for that screw right there. Oh, moving. So I'm going to take this. Uh, looking for a Phillips. You can use a hand Phillips or you can use... I'm going to show you the hand Phillips part, make it easy because my Phillips is in the car. Uh,
see, sometimes you cannot, it's, as you can see right here, it's not aligned. So what you can do, if it's not aligned that good, uh, I'm going to just push it. Maybe radio is a little bit different. What you want to do, if that's the case, you want to take one of the bits and make a hole. Oh, actually, two bits. A bit right there, depending on what size the your uh, radio is. Stop. Be right with you in a minute, buddy. Okay. I'm videoing. Videoing? Yep. Okay. So, as I mentioned earlier, you can make it work like that. Just move it. You can't hurt it, so... Oh, I want to explain it again since I already hooked up. I know it works. So this blue wire right there, it's connect to the one right next to the red. Or you can take that blue wire or the blue and white from your radio to the white wire right here. See the white next to the gray? That white wire right, right there. So connect that, you'll get your amp to turn on. If not, you got no sound. So now I slide it from the right side going in there. I'm going to put all the screw back in. So now you have it. Just put everything back. Turn the radio on. Take a couple seconds. Should coming on right there.